Hello and good day from your friends at Bionics. This video will help you get your Bionics system up and running. The video is really only meant as a general guide. If you don't feel you have the tools or the knowledge to perform this installation, please consult your local bicycle dealer. We'll start by getting the Bionics rear wheel ready. Install your tire and tube. Then thread on your free wheel. Now install your disc rotor, but be sure to use the longer 12mm torque screws that we've included. Once that's done, set the wheel aside. To protect your frame, it's useful to apply tape to the down tube. After applying the tape, be sure to poke out holes for the down tube brazons. To attach the mounting bracket on standard down tubes, apply Loctite to the bolts with rounded heads, then install. For standard down tubes, you'll want to use the flat mounting holes, not the countersunk holes. When installing the bolts, Thread them in only until the bolt head contacts the rail and the rail contacts the frame. Now turn the bolts one more half turn. This prevents the rail from warping due to over tightening. Double check that the rail is snug and not warped. Align the battery with the mounting bracket and slide it on. Depress the front lever to secure the battery into place. The included locking core prevents the battery from being removed when it's in the locked position. When the lock core is protruding, the battery can be installed and removed. When the lock core is depressed, the system is locked and secure. Now that the battery is mounted, we can install the rear wheel. When tightening down the axle nuts, make certain that the cables are parallel to the chainstay and that the axle groove is pointed at the floor, or at 6 o'clock. If not, you'll need to reposition the groove. Extract the countercouple from the axle using the extraction tool, then reposition the groove with a flat screwdriver. Now we'll take the cords from the mounting bracket and route them to the hub and console unit. Route both cords around the seat tube and down in front of the chainstay bridge. Doing this on the drive side gives the bike a cleaner look. Then take the thicker cord, place it along the chainstay and plug it into the hub. Secure this cord with Velcro strips. The thinner cord runs along the down tube. First, clean the down tube and install cable guides. The cord will fit into these guides easily. Then secure them with zip ties. Now it's time to mount the console and the throttle lever. First, slide on the plastic shim, then the clamp. Now you can attach the mounting bracket. The console slides in and secures with a click. The throttle lever goes on the drive side of the handlebars outside of the shift and brake levers. Secure the throttle with a Phillips screwdriver. Wrap the throttle wire around the brake housing and plug it into the console. Now, take the cord that you've routed up the down tube, wrap it around the housing, and plug it in. To mount the brake lever sensor, first clean the bottom side of the lever, then stick on the sensor and magnet. Attach the sensor cable to the console unit, then secure it with zip ties. 
Power on the system by pressing the top button on either side of the console. The console display will count down. Now it's possible to test the system using the buttons on the console or on the throttle. Press the plus sign to add assistance during a ride, or the minus sign to add resistance and generate power for your battery. Now check to ensure that the brake lever sensors are operating correctly. When you squeeze the brake lever, the console will display G mode. G mode indicates that the system is generating battery power. If everything is operating sufficiently, glue the sensor into place. If not, reposition the sensor and try again. Your console unit also has a nighttime mode. Hold the power button for three seconds to activate the backlight. Now that you're set up, you can get out there and go for a spin. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy your bionic system.